Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, we are going to focus on relational algebra solved problem. In solved problem 2, we are going to focus on another gate examination question. Let's step into the problem now. The question is, consider the relations R1 with the attributes P, Q and R and relation R2 with the attributes R, S and T with the primary keys P and R respectively. The relation R1 contains 2000 tuples and relation R2 contains 2500 tuples. The maximum size of the join R1 join R2 is and this question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2005. The options are Option A 2000 Option B 2500 Option C 4500 and Option D 5000. I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. I hope you are done. Let's solve this problem now. At first we will highlight the important things about this. What is given in the question? Relation R1 with P, Q and R as the attributes and relation R2 with R, S and T as the attributes. And what are the primary keys that are mentioned here? P and R respectively. So P is the primary key attribute in R1 relation and R is the primary key attribute in R2 relation. And what we are required to find? We are required to find the maximum size of the join R1 join R2. What kind of join is this? Since the condition is not mentioned, we are considering this as the natural join. What is a natural join? We need not even mention any join condition. Then how the join happens? It's based on the common attribute. For the natural join to be performed, there should be a common attribute between two or more relations. In this example, if you observe relation R1 has an attribute R, and this attribute R is also there in relation R2. So, we can easily perform natural join. No need of any explicit join condition. However, one important thing that we should note here is the attribute R in R1 is not a primary key attribute whereas in the relation R2, the attribute R is a primary key. And one more thing is that R1 contains 2000 tuples and R2 contains 2500 tuples. Then what's the maximum tuples we will get when we perform R1 natural join R2? Let's see that now. Since we are considering this as the natural join, we know natural join joins two or more relations based on the common attribute and here this R is the common attribute. We know that. Since R is the primary key attribute in R2, when we take the value of the common attribute R, in this case R2, I mean relations 2's R is the common attribute and this should match, isn't it? I mean the value of R in relation R2 should match with the value of R in the relation R1. Whether we have duplicate values or null values in R1, we don't worry about it. Because this R2 should match with R1. So there are 2500 tuples that can match with 2000 tuples here. So the output is going to be obviously 2000 only. The reason is this is not a primary key attribute and this may have duplicate values or null values in R1. However, this R which has 2500 unique values and no null values that will match with this exactly the maximum 2000 only we will be getting as the output. So the right answer for this question is option A 2000. In other words, the common attribute R is the primary key in relation R2 and this R should be having 100% unique and no null values for all 2500 tuples. Hence, when we join this, the maximum possibility is going to be only 2000 because the minimum of these two will be the answer. Remember, there is no foreign key constraint or any other constraints provided and hence the minimum is going to be the answer for this question. So the answer is obviously option A 2000. I would advise you try manually populating the values for the relations R1 and R2. Please note for R1 relation the value in the attribute R can be anything because it's not a primary key attribute here in R1 relation. Whereas in relation R2, the attribute R is the primary key attribute. So manually create some scenarios and try getting the maximum value. 
In this gate question, they have mentioned relation R1 contains 2000 tuples and relation R2 contains 2500 tuples. I would request you to try with R1 containing 3 tuples and R2 containing 5 tuples. Try creating some scenarios and ensure you are getting the maximum as 3 only. Before we sign out, let's see the homework question. The question is, what does the following relational algebra expression do? And the expression is, Sigma, the condition is amount greater than 1200 and the relation is loan. And the options are, option A, finds all the tuples in the relation loan. Option B, finds the tuples in the relation loan where the count is greater than 1200. Option C, finds the tuples in the relation loan where the loan amount is greater than 1200. And option D, it lists only the amount column from loan relation that has amount greater than 1200. I request you to pause this video for a while, think about the right answer and post your answer in the comment section. I hope this session is informative for you today. I'll see you in the next presentation. Thank you for watching.